Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But right before I go home, I wanted to jump on here and just very quickly just share a thought. And before I do that, let me share with you, I received the social media page of the year award from the Zikomo Awards. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Boy, I tell you, I feel like I received an Emmy. Thank you, Zikomo Awards, and thank you to those of you that voted for me. I really appreciate that so much, and it's it's a great feeling being recognized for something that you love to do, and there are no words in the human vocabulary that can adequately describe how pleased and how elated I am to to receive this, this award, and I dedicate this to my late father, uh, Dr. Simon Mwewa. And uh, whose whose name the, the, this this page is named after him Simon Moylan the road is named after him the market is named after him okay and um, I will treasure this I will thank you thank you Zikomo and thank you those of you that voted thank you all right real quick why does John General take pictures with prominent politicians? That's a very easy question to answer. You see, false prophets love to leverage politicians, notable people, people in the armed forces, people in the police, people in the security wings. This is what they do. They penetrate the power structure of a nation to use to their advantage. And it comes in handy whenever they're in trouble or whenever they need something done. Whenever you see a false prophet that is consistently tapping into the who's who of society, whenever you hear a false prophet name drop, you know what it means to name drop? When someone says, oh, I know the president or I know the minister of local government. I know, I know the chief of police. I know the inspector general. It is a power play for them to use to their advantage whenever they're in trouble. Then they all do it. All of these false prophets do it. When Andrew Ejimadu, aka Seer Nothing, when he first came to Zambia, one of the very first things that he wanted to do was to penetrate the power structure get in good with the politicians he had to he sussed the ground out he he perused the power structure of our nation and he said who's the most influential politician who's the most powerful chief of police who is in the army that i can befriend i mean there's a story right now of a of a family from zambia national service that was hoodwinked out of property by Andrew Ejimadu, a.k.a. Seer One, or Seer Nothing as I call him, when he was here. How did he do that? It's very simple. When they penetrate the power structure using mysticism, using the Bible, using God's word to manipulate people in order to to take advantage of them for their own self-benefit and, and, and that's all it is that's that's the that's the whole point of this whole push and this whole drive whenever you see uh, 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 a false prophet take a picture with that president that politician this individual it's all a power play to penetrate the power structure 
But here it is, it doesn't matter how many pictures John General took. If he's truly found wanting on this issue of raping a woman, if this thing goes to the zen, if this thing runs its natural legal course, he's not going to escape the noose. This is going to be his Waterloo. But unfortunately, even though we say that, the truth is these cult leaders have such power and such influence over their followers that their followers do not see anything wrong with them. A papa follower will never see the, the wrong in a papa. A papa can shoot someone dead in the middle of the street with a revolver. Blood splatter all over the place. The papa follower will say, no, God, the devil made him do it. The papa follower will say, no, something just went wrong. But my papa is, is you know, he's God's man. And so to answer that question, why or how does John General manage to take pictures with so many different politicians? It's a power play. It's a power play. And, and let me close with this. Never underestimate the, the evil power of the cult of personality. It's very dangerous, especially when it's unbridled. You know, and this is the reason myself, you, and other people, I was very pleased to see uh, uh, Tony, J. Tony, talk very strongly against this. More people need to do that. I can't speak about this by myself. More people need to jump on the platform, hold these so-called papas accountable. Never underestimate the power of these false prophets. I'll give you one example. Jim Jones was a wayward pastor, and there are many like him. There's David Koresh, there's so many. Jim Jones moved and convinced his entire congregation to leave their homes. Some people sold their businesses, others sold their homes, some abandoned their families to leave their homes in America and relocate to Guyana and start a brand new life in a compound and a community that Jim Jones promised his followers, his brainwashed followers, that they were going to live on, in heaven on earth. In the end, he made everybody drink Kool-Aid. In America, they call it Kool-Aid, juice. Mazoi in Chile, Mazoi. Mazoi that was laced with poison. Thousands of people were killed, including Jim Jones himself. And so, whenever you hear that there's a papa who has unbridled influence, control, almost a mind control, where just the word of the papa convinces you to do something, whenever you reach that level, very dangerous. We have not seen the last of the likes of Jim Jones. It's going to happen again, whether it's through uh, John General or whoever. Why? Because that's, that's how humanity is. History repeats itself. Be weary of these false prophets. Do not allow them to sift you as wheat and devour you like meat on a plate. Good night. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.